Stand by for action. We are about to launch Stingray. Anything can happen in the next half hour. Hydroprobe negative. All checks here, aquamarine. Looks like we're in for a quiet evening. Yep. Over and out. Now, checkmate in one. Father, the emergency alarm. Father? Father, where are you? Are you okay, Lieutenant? Yes, so, Commander. Apart from this farther of all headaches, what exactly happened? Well, I don't know. I was slugged from behind. I'll tell you what happened, Troy. Someone stole the new Air Sea Hydro Probe. But that's a vital piece of our long-range warning system. Who would want to steal that? Anyone who wanted to weaken Marineville's defenses. Now, I want Marineville searched. Turn the place inside out if you have to. We have a traitor and I want him. This is Commander Shaw. All personnel are to remain in their quarters for a further period of four hours. The hydroprobe receiver is still missing. Yeah, you had a kind of hectic night, Atlanta. Why don't you get on home and catch up on your sleep? Are you trying to get rid of me, Father? Ah, oh, gee, no, Atlanta, but you look tired. And no wonder, up half the night. Well, this is a new angle. Do you feel okay? Quit fooling, Atlanta. I just think you look tired and could do with some sleep. Well, I never thought I'd see the day when you released anyone from duty, emergency or not. Oh, get on home and stop arguing. Well, okay. We're having Troy, Phones, and Marina to dinner tonight. Guess I could use the time. I'll see you later, Father. And thanks. Tracking station from Tower. Tracking.
Tracking station from tower. Are all automatic message interceptor units working? Why, yes, Commander. They're always operating. Okay, Lieutenant, just checking. Zero blue to zero red. Come in zero red. Do you read me? Go ahead, zero blue. What have you to report? Everything going according to plan. Then, it's tonight. Yeah. There will be no mistakes. Make sure of it. The plans are vital to the operation. that success is imperative. Remember, failure means danger to Atlanta. That is all. Oh, it beats me how the Hydra probe could have been smuggled out of Marineville, Commander. Yeah. Well, maybe it wasn't. Maybe it's still here, with the traitor who stole it. Well, there's not much we can do. Put that disc on, Atlanta. The one that I like. <coughs> the videophone. Maybe the security boys have found something. Go ahead. Sorry to disturb you, sir, but... I've discovered something I think you ought to know about. Okay, Lieutenant. What have you found? It's, uh, well, uh... It's kind of personal, sir. Could you come across to the tracking station? No, I couldn't, Lieutenant. I'm going on duty soon. What have you to report? Well, sir, I, I, I really think I ought to... Lieutenant Meisen, will you please get on with it and stop wasting time? All righty, I was checking through the automatic interceptor tapes. There's a message on one which uh, kind of has me puzzled. Will you stop being so mysterious? Play the tape back, Meisen, right now. Plans are vital to the operation. Isn't there some other way? No. You must realize that success is imperative. Even if the people closest to you get hurt. Even your own daughter. I understand. Good. If you fail, then it is certain your friends will be in danger. Remember, failure means danger to Atlanta. That is all. Okay, Lieutenant, that's enough. Carry on with your normal duties. I'll deal with this later. Yes, sir. But, sir, I don't understand. No, that sounded just like you. Someone must be impersonating your voice. I <laughs> know, Atlanta. It was me. A good gag, huh? You mean it was a joke, sir? <laughs> what else could it have been, Tempest? <laughs> but the other voice, Father, was that you, too? Uh, yeah. Yeah, sure it was. Well, you did it pretty well, sir. Thanks, Troy. Now well, I'd better get across to the tower. Duty calls, you know. Okay, sir. How about some more music, Atlanta? Sure, Troy. I'll fix it. I don't figure this. It's not like the commander to play practical jokes in the middle of an emergency. What are you suggesting, Troy? Oh, nothing, Atlanta. But doesn't it strike you as kind of strange? I suppose it does, Troy. But if Father says he was playing a joke, then that's good enough for me. Mm, yeah. Guess so. All checks here, Aquamarine.
Okay, Lieutenant. Get on home and rest your head. I'll take over. Oh, I'll be okay, sir. I don't mind staying on. You never know, we, we might have more trouble. Meaning that if we do, I won't be able to handle it, hmm? Is that it? Why, no, sir. I didn't mean that. I'm glad to hear it. Now get on home. That's an order. Okay, sir. Tracking station from Tower. Go ahead, Tower. Are all the guards doubled, Lieutenant? Yes, sir. Security reports all quiet. Good. Let's hope it stays that way. Make routine report in two hours. Yes, sir. Tower, do you hear me? Did you see the man who hit you, Commander? No, Troy. He came from behind. Troy, how can you question Father now? He's hurt. It's okay, Atlanta. Troy's right. Some top secret plans have been stolen and we've got to get after the culprit. Now, you're not going to worry about this business anymore tonight, Father. It's my job to worry. No arguments. You're going home to rest. Atlanta's right, sir. You must have had a nasty crack. Okay, but I'm going under protest. Well, of course, Father. Now, Troy will drive you home. Oh, this is a bad business, sir. Everyone in Marineville's under suspicion. Yeah, I know. Tell me, Commander, what makes a man turn traitor? Any one of a number of reasons, Troy. Money, ideas, politics, duty. Duty, sir? Yes, Troy. The duty to oneself, to one's own family and friends. Yeah, I see. You mean if a guy's son or daughter was threatened? Could be. Say, here we are. Yes, I'm ready for some rest after all. Good night, sir. I'm going back to the tower. Good night. Well, security says that father was the only one to enter the tower before the alarm was sounded. Then how did the guy that slugged the commander get in? Maybe he didn't. What do you mean, Troy? It's difficult to say this to you, Atlanta. But I think your father's more involved in this than you think. You mean he knows something we don't? No, Phones. He doesn't mean that. Go on, Troy. Why don't you say it? You think father is the traitor. Now, Atlanta, I know how you feel. But let's look at this calmly. Calmly? You accuse my father of being a traitor and expect me to be calm? Atlanta, I'm only looking at the facts. What facts? Tell me one thing that points to his guilt. That tape recording of the message. Do you really believe the commander was joking? Be honest, Atlanta. Well, he said it was a gag. It could have been. No, honey, not the commander. He doesn't joke like that. But that's not proof that he's a traitor. No, it isn't. But how about tonight? He's alone in here. Security knows no one else came in. Yet your father says he was hit from behind. But his head... He was in pain. Did you see any bruising? Any wounds? No, I figure he was shamming. You figure. It's all figuring. There's no proof. Your father's not a fool, Atlanta. Could be he's covered his tracks well. No, I don't believe it. I won't believe it. How about the other night when Lieutenant Fisher was slugged? Was your father at home? Of course. I went to his room when the alarm signals woke me. Well? Troy, he wasn't there. We 
We found him waiting for us in the control tower. Yes, he discovered Fisher unconscious. Yeah, but if he was awake, he, he could have got to the tower before us. If he was awake, if it was a joke, if he was slugged. There's too many ifs, phones. Oh, Troy. What am I going to do? Help me. Help my father. Well, I'll do my best, Atlanta. You know that. But we'll have to keep a continuous watch over him when he reports for duty tomorrow. Security guards, this is Commander Shore speaking. I do not want to be disturbed for the next 15 minutes. Zero red. This is zero blue. Do you read me? Go ahead, zero blue. Was the operation a success? Yes. Everything went according to plan. Good. What of the others? They have said nothing. But I think their suspicions are aroused. I don't think it'll be long before my little game is discovered. I guess that's all the proof we need, Troy. If you are discovered, you are on your own. I understand. This is Zero Blue closing down. Over and out. Hold it, Commander. I'm sorry about this, but I guess you've asked for it. I'm putting you under close arrest. Okay. Put your gun away. I won't give you any trouble. I'm sorry, Commander, but... I, I've got to put you in the detention cell. Troy, no. Can't he come home with me? I'll look after him. Sorry, Atlanta. It's got to be this way. He's Don't a... Don't say it, Troy. It's a horrible... Do what you have to, but... Don't mention that awful word. Shh, Atlanta, baby. Troy's got his duty to do. Will you take the commander to the detention pen phones and then see Atlanta home? She needs a rest. Sure, Troy. Will you come this way, sir? Tracking station from Tower. This is Captain Tempest speaking. As from now, I have taken over command of Marineville. Refer all matters to me. Very well, Captain. And have the airfield stand by with a helicopter. I'll be flying to HQ in a half hour. Yes, sir. Why, Father? Just tell me why. It's a long story, Atlanta. Now go to the house and rest. Take her along, will you, Phones? Yes, sir. Come on, Atlanta. I'm sorry, Atlanta. I had no other choice. It's all right, Troy. Believe me, I understand. Thanks, honey. That goes for me, too, Troy. You get off to headquarters and make your report. I appreciate your attitude, sir. You're making a messy job a lot easier. You're credit to the service, Captain. I'm proud of you. Thanks. I'll do all I can to help. At the inquiry, I mean. Troy's on his way. What will they do to Father Phones? I guess there'll be an inquiry and then maybe a court-martial. I know all that, Phones, but what if they find him guilty? You know the penalty, Atlanta, but don't think about that. It could all be a mistake. If only I could believe that, Phones. But that last radio message, well, you and Troy saw him. Uh, you, you try and get some rest, Atlanta. I'll have to get back to the tower. Troy will be reporting in from HQ pretty soon. I'll be okay, Phones. Thanks. 
Very well, Captain. It's a bad business, but you've done the right thing. Thank you, sir. If I may request swift action, the commander shouldn't be kept in detention too long. You show remarkable loyalty to a traitor, Tempest? Perhaps, sir, but whatever the commander is now, he has served his country and the whole world valiantly in the past. Quite so, Captain. And that's what makes his crime all the more serious. But I commend you for your loyalty. I don't think the commander will be kept waiting long, Phones. Well, that's good, Troy. I'm going to leave him alone till you get back. I figure he needs some time to think things out. Swell, Phones. I'm leaving now. Be with you later. What is this? Don't tell me I'm being released. I don't understand. Out you come, Commander. Guess we're both on the same side. But I would never have figured it. So it was you who took the hydroprobe. Yeah, that's right. And now you've got the plans. You had me fooled there for a while. Our underwater friend certainly found a good contact in you. I thought I was working alone here. We may have to fight our way out. So I'll take this gun. Guess you won't be scared to use it, huh? You bet I won't, Mizen. You're under arrest. <laughs> what is this? Quit fooling. I'm deadly serious. Make a move and I'll fire, traitor. But for that buggy of yours, Commander, I guess I would have been for the high jump. More like a firing squad, Mizen. Yeah, but instead you're facing the bullets, not me. Now, before I shoot you, I'd like to know what all this double dealing is about. Headquarters and I knew a traitor was passing secrets out of Marineville. We had to lay a plot to catch you, Mizen. Troy, Atlanta, you got here just in time. Listen. To make it work, I had to force you into the open. We figured that if I posed as a traitor, the real spy would contact me sooner or later. Yes, we were right. Quite a plan, Commander. You had all Marineville fooled. It had to be that way, to make the plan work. Sure. Even Tempest and your own daughter figured you for a spy. That was the hardest part, deceiving them. I couldn't tell anybody. One of them could have been the traitor. Too bad you won't live to tell the story. Get it over with, Mizen. But you won't get far. I'll take my chances. I've done okay up to now. <laughs> It's all over, Mizen. You're washed up. Wow, I thought you'd never get here, Troy. Zero blue to zero red. Do you read me? Go ahead, zero blue. What have you to report? Success, sir. Success. Now, I have someone here you'd like to talk to. Captain Tempest. Good afternoon, sir. Glad to meet you, Tempest. I wanted to tell you, Captain, that without your help, our plan would not have succeeded. I don't follow you, sir. You acted exactly as you should have done. A lesser man would have avoided the responsibility of arresting his commanding officer. Well done, Captain. Thank you, sir. Well, Troy... That was the big chief himself. Yeah, I know that now. How did it feel to be number one of Marineville for an hour or two, Troy? Terrible, sir. And I'm resigning from the post as of this minute. Welcome back aboard. Yes, welcome back, Father. Why 
can't you whisper the words that my heart is longing to hear? Your magic to me, a beautiful mystery. I'm certain to fall, I know, because you enthrall me so. Aqua Marina Why don't you say That you'll always stay Close to my heart 